Ready, set up! Do I know um, what Mike hasn't said whether the starters will play in the preseason finale, but if, you know, this, if you do not get action in the final points of the game, do you feel good about the state of the offense in terms of the Uh, Well, I, I don't think you'll ever feel feel good until you get live action games in a real season, real defensive looks, not uh, just normal coverage. You know, you're, you're getting pressures, you're getting different looks on third down. So I guess we'll never know until we actually go out there and, and have to really play. So we'll see. You saw you get hit during the, uh, in the game. Was there some jujitsu? Your head was stayed up? Yeah. What's, yeah. Was that it? Uh, yeah, I, I would say we, we've been practicing it once a week, um, you know, just, just in case, try to build that muscle memory for the falling aspect of it. But I think uh, it worked out pretty good. Felt good to get back in there, to get hit, um, you know, to get tackled a little. So it was pretty good. Is it feeling natural to you at this point, like where you're not thinking, I got to do this as I'm falling? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, just continuing to practice it. That continues as uh, you get closer to the season, or did you stop once? Uh... No, I think I'll continue it. It's almost been to a point where, um, you know, it's it's been in in the flow of things with how I've been doing things um, throughout the week. How unusual was today with no Tyreek and no Jalen Waddle to throw to? How, was that the first practice, and, and how unusual was it? I think it was the first practice. Um, it's a little unusual not having your guys out there, but. It also gives other guys opportunities to to showcase themselves with you know the first group and then also build chemistry with with those guys as well. Do you understand, understanding the uh, process of throwing the football with your left hand, knowing you do everything right-handed, um, when that first came about, how challenging was that, and, and how, how long do you think it took for you to master that craft? I can't remember how long how long it took or how long it took for me to get used to throwing with my left hand. Just got to a point where it felt natural throwing with my left and shooting with my left. Um, but I, I, I can't remember how long it, it, it took. I don't know if you're aware, but um, Ryan Clark was on ESPN and had some rather- Who? Ryan Clark. Wait, what? Was an uh, analyst on ESPN. Oh, got you, sorry. I, yeah, sorry. That's you. Sorry, I thought you were saying something else. Um, he, he had some criticism about you, mm -hmm. uh, saying that you didn't hit the gym in the off season, you didn't follow nutritionist advice. Yeah. If he were here, what would you say to him? I mean, he probably knows more about me than I know about myself. I mean, I I don't know. I mean, Ryan's been out the league for some time, so I I don't, I don't know it. It's a little it's a little weird when other people are talking about other people when they're not that person. So I know it's just a little, just a little weird. I come back I, I like my background is like I, I come from a Samoan family, like respect is everything, but you know, does get to a point where hey, you know, a little easy on that, buddy, because you know, we I I think we're we're pretty tough minded people and uh if we need to get scrappy, we can get scrappy too. Just saying. How hard did you work in the off season? I mean, I think we all worked hard throughout the off season. Um, and I'm not someone to talk about myself the entire time, but I mean, it takes a lot. You think you think I wanted to to build all this muscle? Like, not nah, to some extent. Like I I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be a little lighter. There's I know there's a mixture of things that people don't understand, that people don't know about, that are talked about, that go behind the scenes. So, you know, I'd appreciate if you kept my name out your mouth. That's what I'd say. So you guys, this is uh, week one for a lot of high school students um, for football. Do you have any advice or words of wisdom you want to share to them as they prepare for their, their season? Yeah, I mean, just prepare. Like, lean back on your training. I think... Um, uh, thing to remember is uh, Jason Jenkins. Um, he's someone that he's someone that had a great impact uh, here at the Dolphins. I would say I had a pretty good relationship with him throughout uh, my years here with him. And uh, I, I, I mean, I just think this is this is a, a time to 
continue to remember his legacy here as a Miami Dolphin. Um, and yeah. So you guys had a 14 play drive in the game on Sunday that you engineered last year, one of the most explosive offenses. How important is it to you as an offense to strike that balance between being able to score quickly and possess the football? Well, I, I think it's very encouraging to see for our offense. Um, adversity hit quick um, within the first two plays. And we were able to knock that off and just continue to sustain the drive. We converted our third downs, and we were able to finish those. So I thought it was really good. I know this is a day-by-day lead, but the opener is not too far away. I don't know, you know what the plan is for Saturday, but when does your focus even start to go to the regular season opener? Well, I think our focus uh, starts here with Jacksonville. Um, we're treating this as if it were a game week. So just preparing the way we would on a normal day-to-day -day week, normal down and distances, third downs, red red area, um, you know, and we'll see what they give us. So I'm I'm preparing as if I'm going to play. Is that a nice change of pace from practice to be able to get to do that to go from training camp, training camp to that? Yeah, um, I mean it feels good to practice against other teams, get other looks. Um, the preparation is a little different when you're uh, joint practicing, but um, you know when when you're able to to practice on your own, get looks from the scout team. Um, you know, I, I think that that definitely helps in preparation to play on the weekend. Sure, you were asking about the comments of the Ryan Clark comments. Do you think some people kind of cloud chase for that type of better word? They make their names off of yours. So they... Make their name off of mine. Well, I mean, I, I don't, I don't look at myself as someone who chases clout. You know, I'm, I stay out of the media as much as I can. Um, I try to live my life as private as I can. So, I mean, if they think it's chasing clout, buddy, I'm the wrong person. Like, <laughs> there's nothing about me that, that tells you that I, I I'm chasing clout. So I. I mean, go go find Jake Paul or go go find Logan. Go go find those guys. Like, if you want to chase Clout, like those are the guys you want to chase. Has that trend in your career of, of listening to the outside noise? Has that has that changed at all or evolved? No, the no. Um, the person who bears all the bad news to me, and Nolan. Sorry, Ann. <laughs> but uh, that's how I figure things out. So, other than that, no one in my family tells me anything. My wife doesn't watch news outside of uh, like regular uh, BBC news, all of those things, what's going on around the world. Um, also prayers uh, back home still to the people out there in Maui. There's still a lot of uh, people missing. There's still a lot of things that haven't been, uh, um, you know, shout out uh, to the news, but uh, prayers, thoughts out there to the families and a couple of my friends that uh, live out there. How's that process been with uh, just the relief efforts? Um, you balancing that with the day? How's that been? Yeah, it's been going good. It's, you know, the, the thing with that is you just, I mean, they, they've been down with power, you know, for some time. So it's like they don't even know what's going on, like who's all missing, where this thing is, wh what's happening. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of things going on back there. And so. I mean, just, just continue to pray. And, you know, I do know there's a lot of uh, people that are out there willing to help and willing to help fund um, the relief needs for those out there in, Ho in, in Hawaii or Maui. Last question. When you're not playing in the preseason games, uh, we're talking to Mike, I should call him Coach McDaniel. Uh, how much do you sort of cherish those moments to see his vision in, in a game context uh, while you still can? You seem to be having a lot of fun as well when something goes right. Yeah. When everything goes right, it, it's a reflection of our offense. It's a reflection of our team. So when our guys go out there, no matter who it is, you want to see them succeed. You want to see them do well because you know that they've been studying. They've been understanding what is needed to have been done in this particular defense with our offense. And you know they've been, they've been working really hard. So. Just going out there and seeing them succeed, it, it, it means a lot. It means a lot because, you know, guys are, are working for a job and, you know, guys, guys need to, to beat out people. It's a competition. That's, that's what it is here in this league.